Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of Nigeria newspapers. And I begin with the Nation newspaper. The major story here, NNPCL, Dangote disagree on petrol price. Oil giant, we bought at 898 Naira. Firm, it is not true. Price template out today. Right at the top corner there, jailed terrorists among 281 prisoners who bolted in Bornu. Conversion of buses to CNG in Ibadan, Kaduna, peps up. And Edo 2024 presidency, NSA flay PDP's violence claim. President back in Abuja after China UK visit, DSS didn't arrest Shure. Those are the major stories on the front page of the Nation newspaper. To the Nigerian News Direct now, NNPC Limited will be sole buyer of Dangote Refinery Petrol, federal government insists, as mixed reactions trail lifting of BMS at 898 naira per liter by NNPC Limited. We sold fuel to NNPCL in dollar. That's what Dangote is saying. And... Uh, 274 inmates still missing in aftermath of my degree flooding. PMS price, Serap Sus, Dinubu seeks compulsory probe of NMPC Limited. Zamfara boat accident, floods. Dinubu Mons victims assures bereaved families of support. NDLA arrests auto parts dealer shipping cocaine to Congo. And a Nigerian man on death row in Indonesia freed after NITCOM intervention. Some stories there on the front page of the Nigerian News Direct. To the leadership newspaper now, NMPCL, Dangote disagree over price of petrol. We bought fuel from Dangote at 898 naira per liter. Official of the NMPCL is quoted as saying, No, your statement is misleading, mischievous. Dangote responds, 70 trucks load PMS from refinery. And uh, Mulud, Dinubu governors, others felicitate with Muslims. Uh, Abbasanjo Abdul Salami Guso meet IBB in Mina. And the top corner there, Asu alleges victimization of members. Another story there, how immigration detained me at Lagos Airport. Shure uh, giving account of his detention there. Now hold Simon Ekpa for terrorism, Ami tells UN. To 81 inmates missing in Borno flood prisons and four die of cholera in Adamawa, 36, hospitalized. Those are some of the stories on the front page of the leadership newspaper. Now to the front page of the Daily Independent. Finally, NNPCL truckloads first set of petrol at Dangote Refinery. And the writers there, Dangote denies selling PMS at 898 naira per liter to NNPCL, assures Nigerians of quality product and to fuel scarcity. And uh, at the down strip here, Naira may rebound on back of F federal government's $900 million domestic dollar bond. Flood, Nigeria receives 50 tons of relief materials from the UAE. Nema warns of imminent flood in rivers in weeks. And the government accuses APC of planting veil thugs in police uniforms to disrupt Guba poll. Right. Now, another story there. NCOs releases details of uh, 281 inmates missing after my degree floods. Uh, those are some stories on the front page of uh, the Daily Independent. To the first news newspaper now, no relief in sight. NNPCL reveals buying fuel at 898 naira per liter from Dangote. And that's the picture story there of former president Solisha Gwambasanja and Ibrahim Babangida sharing a moment of camaraderie during Abasanja's visit to Mina Niger State to celebrate Babangida's 83rd birthday. And at uh, the Top corner there, federal government begins nationwide distribution of CNG conversion kits. Uh, another story here. Atiku donates 100 million naira to Bornu flood victims, rally support for relief efforts.
to the front page of uh, the Daily Times now. NNPCL, Dangote Trade Words, over PMS pump price. We bought petrol from Dangote Refinery at 898 Naira per litre. That's NNPCL. That's what NNPCL said. Uh, NNPCL's claim misleading, mischievous, says Dangote. Federal government hails lifting of petrol from Dangote Refinery, says it's a step towards industrialization, local refining. Nigerian sentenced to death in Indonesia for drug trafficking released. And uh, another story here, Ido Mulud keeps supporting Tinubu and Lu Jebeg's Nigerians, urges Muslims to continue to pray for peace, stability, prosperity in Nigeria. Some stories on the front page of the Daily Times. So the Salient Times now. So talking about Dangote Refinery selling petrol at 898 Naira per litre. That's a quote by the NNPC. Uh, kudos to Tinobu for making this a reality, or Tedola is quoted as saying. Now, 44% of our PMS production can meet the entire requirement of Nigeria. Atiku visit Bornu over flooding, donates 100 million Naira. That's the picture story there. And... Uh, over 40 people reported dead in a boat mishap in Zamfara community. Now, cholera, four died, 36 hospitalized in Adamawa. Some stories on the front page of the Salient Times. Now to the Punch newspaper. Petrol price. Dangote NNPC DIFA as refinery supplies 16 million liters. Market is a weight price after Dangote counters NNPC on 898 Naira per litre PMS. Dilas alleged fuel sale monopoly. Now, Labour Party, Abu Resus Einek over Keteka Exco. And uh, Ninsim linkage, telcos begin disconnection as deadline ends. NCOS contacts Interpol over 281 Borno fleeing inmates. Some stories on the front page of the Punch newspaper. Tell me. All right. And uh, from my set, the first paper here is this Nigeria. The lead story is captioned 281 inmates missing from Borno prisons with uh, the Correctional Service lamenting havoc of flood disaster. And the group is seeking judicious use of 3 billion naira to vulnerable states. Zerap sues Tinubu over failure to reverse PMS hike, probe NNPCL. Igodalo, Okwebolo, absent at Edogoba debate as Akwata blasts runaways. Dango to NNPCL squabble over petrol price. This and more on this Nigeria. On the front page of Blueprint, UN team arrives Meduguri as Nigerian Air Force begins airlift of relief materials for flood victims. All right, another story there. 40 die in Zamfara boat mishap. Tinobu mourns. Auto dealer, businesswoman nabbed over UK bound opioids, cocaine in Costad. Daily Trust is next. 400 million naira budgeted for a loud dam in four years. Governor quoted as saying, the governor, Baba Ganazolum, saying, dam neglected for years. Its defects discovered nine years ago. That's uh, a revelation from a report. And fear of disease grows as Bruno decries harmful practices. Survivors said to be washing and cooking with contaminated water. Oba Sanjo Abdul Salami Guso mid IVB. That's also there. 400 jobs to go as Scotland's only refinery shuts down in 2025. NNPC lifts 70 trucks of petrol in fresh dispute with Dangote. And hotel owner, manager, guest, two vigilantes shot dead by kidnappers. Platform Times says uh, there's a picture story of um, former President Olusha Gobasanjo with um, former military president uh, IBB, while his children cuddled uh, former president of Basanjo at uh, the MENA residence of IBB. Because there was a closed-door meeting that's also captured in platform times. Lagos parents uh, protest as school fees jump from 35,000 to 100,000 naira. Don't mislead Nigerians. Dangote denies selling fuel to NNPCL at 898 naira per litre. Edo government 
begged international community to prevail on Tinubu to allow free, fair election. And more than uh, 200 lecturers unjustly sacked, victimized as hotels and diversity management. <coughs> Abuja Inquirer is next. The big, big story reads, FCT lawmakers perform poorly at National Assembly with Senator Ireti Kingigbe said to have sponsored one bill so far. Two uh, representatives are said to have sponsored no bill at all. Details are there on the Inquirer. Uh, FCT Emergency Management Agency conducts post-assessment of affected areas. We can make excuses for Abuja landlords on high costs of rent. Next is New Telegraph. Forex scarcity forces operators to cannibalize All right. Next is uh, the New <coughs> Telegraph, which reads... Thus, forex scarcity uh, forces operators to cannibalize disused airplanes as carriers face existential threat. And why 60% aircraft on offshore maintenance cannot return? Operators deplore spare price gorging scarcity as well as uh, some lamentations there by travelers. In the U.S., Trump's golf course incident appears to be assassination attempt, and Ribado sues PDP chairman Aziegbem demands 10 billion naira. That's ahead of the uh, governorship election due in Edo this weekend. Nature News reads, trailing Namibia's footsteps, Zimbabwe to call 100 elephants amid droughts. That's uh, what it calls a selective slaughtering of these elephants, of these elephants, I should say, amid droughts and food shortage with a plan uh, is said to be violating um, international conventions, CSOs speak. Group organizes art workshop on environmental degradation in, Ni in Niger Delta. All right, let's check out some other stories now. Finally, with me, is Sporting Life. Atalanta 3-2 Fiorentina, Lukman grabs first goal of season wins an award, happy to play before home fans and pleased to be in UCL. Chelsea could sign Osimen in January. Onyeka makes winning debut, registers assist, and Indidi disappointed with draw. Veronica. Mm. Interesting. I believe that um, 